Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome back to The Fall. Previously in The Fall, we did some domestication procedures. And then we figured out we couldn't lie, so we're off to find out how to, well, lie. <laughs> Not sure if I was supposed to kill that, but... Better safe than sorry. Yeah, I have to kill him. They're spitting stuff at me. No turbine. I need to find some, like, power or something like that? Maybe. Shower, huh? Relatively clean water. At least I, uh, smell alright. If this suit even smells. Computer terminal? Talking about the reactive agents being next to each other, everything gonna blow up. Kitchen knife. A spot here for a cup. Smashed aquarium. So this was some kind of habitat area. Or some kind of human lived anyway. I don't like the sign of a smashed aquarium. A place being empty for years on end and the whole ground just being covered with water. Well, let's check out the right part. I mean the left forever. Data assistant. Scavengers. A fabled facility. So this place must have been abandoned for a long time. And became kind of a legend. They weren't finding anything. Eyes on the prize. These slugs are pretty hostile, actually. Caretaker probably got him. That could have been one of the other droids, too, maybe. Unless it one handed. Uh-huh. Sounds like dying the water.
Put you in there? I think we got power. Hardware is not advisable at this time. Oh. Thanks for returning that. No problem. Your gratitude was not my objective. I require access to the overrides. Right. Bad news. This isn't the terminal you need. Primary access is down two more levels, and the whole laboratory's flooded. How did the laboratories become flooded? They were designed with an emergency flush valve. In case of contamination, someone must have initiated it before this block lost power. Backup generators are active now, but the flush never completed. Then this water is contaminated. Nah, it's clean. Must have been something else they were trying to get rid of. Or someone. I can't tell if that was the robot. Either the caretaker activated to flush out humans, or they activated to flush him out. Or our aquarium friends got a little too big. Are you still unwilling to assist me? It's not a matter of will. Or want, anyway. Doesn't matter. I couldn't help you even if it was. Flushing the water takes way more power than I have access to. I will shut down this entire facility if I have to. Do whatever it takes, huh? There is a way. Reveal it. Please reveal the means. Sometimes following rules and fitting parameters has... Oh, well... See behind me? It appears to be some sort of stasis. That's right. For droids who've been validated, ready to be reshipped. All their power cores stabilized to one stasis matrix. That's a lot of juice. You can drain them. No, you can. Overclock the matrix and reroute the power to boost your emergency flush. You can fry them. I may need to, to save Joseph's. One human life, Arid? Press that button if you, well, if you want to. It is in my parameters. I must sacrifice these droids to save Joseph. This is most logical solution. Let's see if anything changed here. I don't know what that's for. The hive slug. It seem like normal slugs. Oh, a hive slug queen. That seems fun. Jawfish. Well, they can bite straight through steel. That's reassuring. Where'd you go, my friend? I wish I asked you a question. Of a very violent nature. He just likes these crosses so bad. I really don't know what's with that. And I got syrup. Not sure what it's for yet, but I'll find out soon enough. Hey. 
Yep. That fish bit through solid steel to catch those insects. My armor would not withstand it. I will have to avoid the water. Now this is really hard of darkness like. If I can catch these insects with this stirrup. Yeah. Come on, fishy. Jump out of the water onto land. See, okay. Check out this local items. <laughs> okay. Sorry, jawfish. I keep it my toes. No idea if there's more or not. This terminal's cables are severed, likely by that fish. I cannot interface with it manually. I may be able to network through the terminal and access the power matrix remotely. Connection established. Connection terminated. I figured there'd be more fish. Just one? Weren't they supposed to be a couple? Hmm. I think I found the solution to an earlier, I mean a later puzzle rather. Maybe in this area? We're going back to the uh, kitchen area. Put some fish guts. And we'll just wash ourselves in the fish guts. Kind of like cosplay. Alright, we smell like it's mate. Is it on my leg? Just shut off these robots. That's rough. It was not an easy choice. Yeah. When we have the real power to choose, not just the illusion, it does something. Leaves a print you can't just override. When I return to dock, I will be formatted. These events will be erased from my memory locks. Is that your choice too? Irrelevant. I will do anything to keep Joseph's alive. You did. Whatever you did, you kept yourself operating. That I did. It's hard to know how far to push the rules sometimes before they, you know, break. The rules are not meant to be pushed, except when necessary to enforce them. Can you even realize that makes no sense? We do push, and when they don't break, we're left wondering if we should have pushed further. Illogical. Maybe. Well, you ready for this? The same scenario? It is. It's kind of interesting, he kind of started flirtatious. And now he's become this weird moral compass. Like, he adapted so well to being human that he is actually very human now. While in contrast, we're... 
We're very robotic, but not in a good way. We're actually becoming almost humanly robotic. Where we do anything to supposedly survive. Then again, these robots weren't going anywhere. And to put out its misery. Oh boy. That is enormous. There must be information on this in the lab where they were studying these creatures. Well, we found information already, so, uh. So it swallows the slugs. So that means I gotta use this juice on it. Gotta find nothing to highlight. That was a massive vibration. I will have to be cautious of possible damage. It's peaceful enough. I need to find a slug, coat it in explosives, and let it go back to it. Here we are. Come back, my friend! Cut this stuff in here and they eat it. Yellow. Now. I need to find something else to coat it with. I can't just coat that mushroom because it'll blow up my face. But I gotta find something that they'll eat so I can coat it with the stuff. Here we go. Demo pen? Nothing better than genocide in the morning. Oh, I just got Chivo. I said regicide. Correction. Hey, you made it. Allow me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Pilot of the ARID Mark 7 is faulty for entrusting himself to a deviant machine. Depurposing of both initiated. My life support is dropping. I have to save Joseph's. 
Please. Please help me. Oh, Arid. Okay. Okay. Push the rules, right? I'll fry one of my security droids, jump into Stasis Bay, and I'll repair you. We'll save your human. Thank you. You're a true friend. Even though we've just met. Successful utilization of Mark 7 ARID. Extensive corruption of the Domesticon mainframe revealed. No. Mainframe deactivated facilities defenses. Infraction. Self-destructive. No. No. Eric! Help! Evaluation complete. System faulty. Initiating format. Eric! Help! No! No, stop! Please! Please! Oops. Caretaker. Welcome to Domesticon. Working together today for a more efficient tomorrow. Your quantum signature identifies you as a domestic droid under evaluation. State your full designation and objective in the laboratories. Oh man. No, that's that's kinda bad. I kinda like that guy. He was He was an AI, but he was so so human like. It's me, Arid. The ARID on board of Mark 7. You are helping me. And my pilot. Unauthorized Mark 7 ARID. Shut down immediately for analysis. I cannot. Security. Unauthorized domestic droid in lower laboratories. Joseph's will never be safe while the caretaker lives. Destroy on site. Looks like it has to be this way. So that's it for the fall, part 3. I've said many times I really like this game. It's it just got such a kind of nice pacing to it, I think, and the... I mean, it's sad to see our AI guy go. Um, we weren't with him very long, but I already kind of grew attached to him. And I think the caretaker actually fills a kind of very good villain role. He's not like your typical kind of AI evil villain where they're just terminate all humans, robots superior. He has this a logic to him? At least it seems that way. Except for the crosses, I have no idea what's going on there. It could have just been like a habit he picked up from maybe one of his uh, human caretakers, if you know what I mean. But he's a villain with a certain level of logic to his existence, so he works pretty well. Anyway, thank you all for watching, and stay tuned for The Fall, Part 4.